Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to uh, talk about an update on the whole Biden tapes thing, the recordings that are supposedly out there somewhere. Because there's been a, a, an unforeseeable development, something that is a little surprising. Raskin, who is the top member of the Democratic Party, on the House Oversight Committee. Well, he uh, he seems to be reaching out to the FBI and asking them to release more information about these allegations. Kind of put that FD-1023 in context. Are you shocked? I'm shocked. This is my shocked face. Who could have seen this coming? Um... So my guess here is that he is looking for what I called the determination memo in, in that first video when we first started talking about this. I have since been informed that the new language for that is an assessment memo, but that, that's what he's looking for. It's a document that explains what the FBI thought about the unvetted, unverified information contained on the FD-1023. And... I mean, it's weird when you think about it, because why would somebody from the Democratic Party be uh, be asking the FBI to release more information about this super major, very real allegation against President Biden? I mean, he probably wouldn't do that unless he knows something. Maybe he was told something by the FBI, perhaps on June 5th. Uh, that would lead him to believe that that information would be very favorable to President Biden. Uh, he might describe it as the FBI explained that the assessment was closed because Mr. Brady's team found insufficient evidence to warrant escalating the probe of Mr. Giuliani's allegation from an assessment of the allegations to a preliminary or full investigation. I mean, that, that sounds like he probably knows something. The FBI read an excerpt from a memorandum closing down the assessment. So, it certainly appears that what we suspected about this the entire time is exactly what's been going on. It's worth noting that, from my understanding, Republicans got the exact same information, which means they knew when they held up that form with the DOJ logo on it and said, oh, we have to take these allegations very seriously, they knew that the FBI had already done the assessment on it. And they knew that, well, it, it just didn't, it just didn't really uh, add up for a whole bunch of reasons. What that means is that, once again, the Republican Party intentionally misled its base to follow some conspiracy theory. Another Scooby-Doo mystery that at the end of it, well, there's nothing really there. Um, it, it's not surprising at this point that politicians are doing this. It is surprising that the same people keep falling for it over and over and over again. You could have just Googled at any point in time, FD-1023, what is it? And it would tell you what it is. And it would tell you the information on it is not verified. It's not vetted. It's not proven. So there's nothing to disprove. Um... And when the Republican Party initially first started chasing this ghost, they kept asking for that specific form. Not all of the forms that went along with it. Not the information that would put it in context. Just that form. Because as I said in that first video, I feel like they already knew what the assessment said. They just didn't want to tell their base that. 
They needed a scandal. They needed something to distract from their failed policies or candidates getting in trouble. If I was somebody in the Republican Party, I would suggest that it's probably actually a really bad idea right now to have a whole bunch of people Googling President Admits to Crime on Tape. Because, let me tell you, those results, they don't come back to Biden. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.